Well, after the Lifetime series Surviving R. Kelly Air, there's been a lot of talk of R. Kelly and the alarming accusations made against him. Tonight on Dateline, a former intern speaks on her alleged abuse. NBC6 Kelly Blanco has a sneak peek of tonight's episode. Tonight, Dateline will be airing Accused, the R. Kelly story. NBC's Andrea Canning is joining me now from New York. Andrea, it appears R. Kelly's run might finally be coming to an end after decades of alleged sexual misconduct, and a new accuser is speaking on camera tonight with you. Can you tell us a little bit more about Tracy Sampson? Tracy uh, was a, a former intern at Epic Records who says that she started a sexual relationship with R. Kelly when she was underage. Um, mm -hmm. She goes into great detail about the evolution of this relationship and provides some very disturbing details um, that as a parent you would never want to think of your, uh, your teenage daughter getting involved in something like this. Um, R. Kelly, uh, he denies it. He says he never had sexual sexual relationships with her. Um, they, they did end up settling out of court despite his denial for $250,000. Uh, you're gonna just hear a lot more about her story and, and the color of what went on in that studio and, and what she endured. Yeah, and Andrea, Steve Greenberg, the attorney for R. Kelly, he continues to say that R. Kelly has done absolutely nothing wrong and that the women speaking out are just haters trying to ruin his career. Can you tell us about the interview that you had with him? Yeah, he um, said that they are all liars, each and every one of them. Um, he said that they are looking for money and fame. Mm -hmm and that R. Kelly was good to them, and, and now they're, they've turned on him. Um, he said R. Kelly is just trying to make music and live his life in, in the committed relationship that he's in with two women he lives with in Chicago, um, and that he's not happy uh, that they're saying all these things and, and affecting his career. Um, so he feels like he's the victim in all this. Absolutely, and you also spoke with Mr. and Mrs. Savage. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Obviously, um, this has taken a huge toll on the women and on their families as well. Yeah, the Savages um, say they're trying to get their daughter Joycelyn back. Um, it's been a long road. They feel that she's in this cult, that she's being brainwashed. Um, R. Kelly's attorney will respond to that. Um, he has kind of some explosive allegations of his own about the relationship Joycelyn has um, with her parents. And also just today, um, there was a, a gentleman in R. Kelly's camp who was arrested uh, for um, making threats against the savages. So the drama just continues. Yeah, absolutely. And for decades, you know, these stories failed to make headlines. Finally, uh, there is some light that is being shed on this. Why is Dateline now deciding to do this episode? Well, we, of course, you know, we're, we've heard so much about it and all yeah. so many people are talking about it. So we, we decided we have this huge investigative team. Let's look into it. Yeah. And so we really dug in deep and we, we have new information, including one young woman who says that she had sexual relationships relations with him when she was underage and she has evidence and she says she's turned that evidence over to the police we know what it is and we will talk about it on dateline um, if it is credible if it is legitimate then it potentially could be very explosive absolutely uh, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us we look forward uh, to watching tonight at 10.